Hi, this is Dave Philippi with FabCAD, and this is the first of a series of tutorials on some pretty cool production enhancement commands from uh, FabCAD and AutoCAD. And the first one we're going to talk about is the wipeout command. And basically, what it is, it wipes out areas on your screen. So I'll demonstrate just a free handed wipeout and show you how it works for different situations when you're fabricating gates, rails, and fences. So I'm just going to draw, and it's under the draw ribbon or the draw pull down. And there's wipe out. And basically what it does, it wipes out an area of the screen. The entities are still there behind it. So the practical application would be, like this railing here has a grab bar. Now this was generated in auto rail. And so what I want to do is I want to show that the handrail is on this side of the railing and the post and the pickets are behind it. So I'll use the draw and wipe out command and we'll start here to there and wipe out the top part of this handrail. The pickets and the posts are still there as you can see. It's just it just visually makes it look like it's supposed to look. Now the auto rail program has a new command. It's called rail wipeout. And it works the same as the AutoCAD one, but with our version, you just have to just pick the piece and it wipes it out, just like that. So it works with situations like this. Also, if you're drawing a fence and you've got a channel five inches below the top bar and the pickets are showing going through the channel, but you want to hide those, you just use wipeout command. Or if you have auto rail, you just choose rail wipeout and it'll wipe out that particular piece with one click. And also it works with curved sections in FabCAD. The AutoCAD program only works in rectangular forms. Another useful wipeout is when you're making notes on a particular job and you want to clear an area out. But it, I want to draw a rectangle here so that when I do the wipeout, it's rectangular. And then you would put down around a text note or something like that. So then you would just draw wipe out and, and blank out a part of the screen like so. And you have your text sitting on top so that the picket lines will not interfere with your text note. Another option with wipe out is when I click on it, you notice at the bottom you have polyline option. Now since the rectangle is a polyline, I can just right click and just pick the rectangle and then right click and create the wipeout that way. So if you draw on polylines, whatever shape that you draw it in, they have to be straight lines in AutoCAD. They don't do curves. You can just click on that item as long as it's closed and it'll wipe it out without you having to pick each intersection. Wipeout command. Pretty cool little, little deal there.